Hi folks, now that summer is here, uh, vacation period, a lot of you end up uh, leaving the home unattended and of course it's one thing to count on a neighbor, it's another thing to be notified instantly if something ha does happen. And though I've seen a lot of cameras over the years which you can hook up for home surveillance, nothing comes close to this because of the fact that you're giving no instant notifications straight to your phone. And not only that, but this camera from YCAM called the Home Monitor HD also has uh, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, night vision, high definition, and all the video feed is, for, or anything that's motion detected, and gets sent up to the cloud. Uh, so you don't have to have a home server for this. So you just put, put these uh, cameras standalone within your home and you know, keep an eye on the door, windows, etc. So the way this works is that uh, first we have to hook up the the camera by Ethernet to our router. Uh, here in front of us we have the Devato Go, which is a battery powered uh, router, uh, which also has, uh, you can plug in a DC adapter and run it 24-7. On battery it runs for a few hours, so in case the power does go out, you can also send an SMS notification uh, that there's been a power surge. For a four port LAN version we have the Pro as well. Um, but let's go on to the next step. First thing we have to do is we have to go to the website called, called uh, homemonitor.me and we have to create an account. So I've already created an account and I'll just proceed to log in and I'll punch in my password there keep me logged in and from here on I'll add a new camera. Now to do that I have to go to the guide which came with the camera, very nice guide and on the bottom here you have the link to the website and you also have the serial number and the unique camera ID. So proceed to add a new camera and the camera ID which is the bottom string of digits there I'll insert 8CAE90052 848 and then I'll call it something. Let's call it um, test cam for now. Okay. I'll then go to check connection to camera and the way this works is that the the camera which is connected to the internet, thanks to this router, uh, is being controlled via the cloud uh, from this account. So it shows up a list of all the Wi-Fi networks this camera has detected within its vicinity. And I'll proceed to hook it up to the Go that I have in front of me here. Uh, and the unique password is underneath the Go. I'll just paste that in here. And I'll connect to Wi Fi. Alternatively, I can remain, I can stay behind on, with a cable um, for those of you who might not want to use the Wi Fi. So this takes a very short time. Uh, few seconds, though it says minutes, uh, but um, it's very straightforward. There's nothing to do in the router in terms of port forwarding. I didn't even configure the router. I just stuck in the modem and I did a factory reset and it automatically configured itself towards the mobile internet. Uh, I did not log in to open up any ports, TCP UDP ports for the camera, no UPnP or anything of the sort not even the APN uh, for the mobile internet. So now it's done that I can remove the Ethernet cable it says. Okay. There we go. Nice and wireless. Proceed to next. If I want to use a wall mount bracket uh, that comes with the camera I can do that. I can you know screw it in on the wall. Uh, 
green lamp is on, meaning that it's online. So proceed to next. And check the video feed here, which is coming in. There we go. It's a bit of a delay because all the video is going back to the cloud and then back to this computer. Uh, but that's only going to happen when you have motion being detected. So this is just for tests right now. So I repeat, it's not unnecessarily uploading any video all the time. It's only doing it when motion has been detected. And I can set up uh, zones for it to monitor. So in order to avoid the uh, pets and uh, uh, trees that are blowing in the wind through the window or traffic outside. I just want to keep an eye on the door for instance uh, or the top half of the door. That's an option. I can configure those zones. Click to create zones. What do I do here? I, there we go. Like that. And top. I can change the sensitivity of the zone, of what happens in the zone, so let's say medium there. You don't want to overdo it because then it just does, does it unnecessarily and you end up finding out that the cat can jump on top of the door, you know, like you see those YouTube videos. Let's see, change the time, so the time zone rather. So I'm located in um, Sweden. Alright, and then I just go down to, oh, here's also the schedule, if I want to set up a schedule of when to and when not to record, I can say all day, Monday, I don't want to record, whereas I want to avoid recording on certain hours on Friday, for instance. But if I'm going to go on holiday, let's record everything. There we go. Save settings and add camera to account. Did I? Oh, maybe I have to push save settings here. There we go. All right, so we're done with that. Go to my home. Here's the camera. Motion recording. Alert notifications. Got all that enabled. Settings here. Let's see what's available. Oh, okay, so that's that's where we were originally. Let's go back to live view. I'll wave my hand here, like that. There you go. It's not bad. Good quality. Audio is also being sent. Hang on. Audio is also being sent. There we go. Audio is also being sent. There we go. Bit of delay as well. That's because the video feed is going overseas and then coming back. And now I got a notification arrived by email. There we go. My home. And then what I can do is uh, I got the mobile app. Log onto my phone. Home monitor app. There you go. I got an email notification there. And I can see that there are two notifications or two incidents and I can play them. You know, 45 second video feed of activity. Like that. So everything gets captured before and during and after the incident. Uh, it gets sent up to the cloud and it's always accessible there via the app 
and via the uh, browser and it records up to seven days for free and I think if you pay a premium you also get a uh, much longer time obviously so in conclusion I'd like to say that uh, this works very well because it was very easy to set up as I said there was no port forwarding uh, no mucking around with that and uh, it worked it works very easily to set up uh, many more cameras if I like and it doesn't waste any bandwidth unnecessarily instead it just captures the alert and sends that up so this won't uh, you won't need to have like a, a massive uh, data allowance on your 4G uh, or any kind of broadband access you use and so in that way it's bandwidth efficient of course you can always log in at the same time and just see what's happening uh, that's an option but uh, considering that everything was configurable via the cloud I'm very impressed with uh, how smooth this installation was so I have followed YCAM over the years and I've seen that they've done a, no a, a tremendous amount of improvements in the software but in, or in addition to the software that's sitting in the actual camera they've now introduced also a cloud setup which is much much more convenient than how it was a few years ago. Alright, thank you very much. Bye bye.